Okay, in this video I'm going to explain conceptually how I would uh, do multiplication in my head. Uh, what I have in front of me is the problem uh, 1 times 3 and we want to figure out what that is. Now what I basically do is uh, I think of it as, okay, I have 1 and I'm going to add that together three times or multiply by three. So uh, we start out with a one and I'll have an apple there and we add one and then uh, we're doing one three times. So we do it a third time and we add one again. So one plus one plus one and that's going to equal uh, three. So one times three is three. So I have, and you see I have three apples there now let's go to the next question here and uh, the next question uh, says uh, what is zero times four now uh, zero is pretty straightforward but I'm gonna walk through the concept and I'll explain it uh, okay so we have zero and we have zero four times so we're gonna add zero together uh, four times so we have zero plus zero plus zero plus zero and that's going to equal zero. So uh, basically what I'm trying to say is anytime you have zero and you multiply that by any number, it could be zero, one, two, ten, a hundred, uh, that number is going to equal zero. Uh, because nothing times nothing equals nothing and no matter how many times you add nothing together you have nothing so that's uh, a straightforward or a quicker way to uh, answer that type of question. Now let's take a look at a little bit more complicated one, or a semi-complicated one. Uh, we have the problem uh, 5 multiplied by 2, and we want to know what that equals. Well, uh, conceptually, to do this, uh, we'll t we're going to say, okay, uh, 5 times 2, well, that's going to be uh, equal to basically uh, 5 plus 5. We're, we're basically adding 5 together two times. Uh, so, okay, so uh, we have five here, I got five leaves, and then we're going to add five more leaves. So I've got a total of uh, ten leaves there, and if you count the leaves, we have ten. And uh, we're going to take a look at one more example here. In this question right here, I have seven uh, times three. Now, if you're thinking conceptually from the last one, uh, we take the 7 number and we are going to add it together 3 times because 7 multiplied 3 is basically the same as adding uh, 7 together 3 times. So I have 7 plus 7 plus 7. Now 7 plus 7 is 14 and 14 plus 7 is 21 and if you double check visually here there should be 21 leaves total I'm not going to uh, waste your time and count through them all but if you'd like you can hit pause and conceptually that is how I would uh, tackle any multiplication problems I think okay uh, the, the 7 number here times 3 okay well if I have uh, 7 uh, and it's multiplied multiply by 3, well that's basically the same as adding uh, 7 together 3 times. And uh, that concludes our tutorial for how uh, basic multiplication works. Thank you for watching.